Well, hi everyone, Michael Faust here. Great to have you on this live presentation today. We're gonna to be talking about exciting ways to create wealth and life-changing income and taking advantage of this in a time where it's drastically needed all around the world. Doesn't matter which country you live in, the last 18 months has de actually devastated the economy of so many people on a personal level with their jobs, with their, the companies they work for going out of business and a lot of business owners losing their business as well. And we live in a time where that doesn't look like it's gonna change anytime soon. So there's never been a more important time than to basically look at ways that you can create additional streams of income or potentially develop something that could become another option for making your income and really building wealth where you're no longer vulnerable to the factors of the external world. That's been a path that I've been on personally for the last 37 years of being self-employed and the last 31 years full-time in peer-to-peer -peer marketing. So let's get on with it and talk about what this is all about. Basically, when we approach an opportunity like this, it's very important to understand where you sit when you actually look at a, 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 something like this. Because it doesn't matter how much money you make, if you basically don't look at what you do with money, you'll just end up actually repeating what's happened in the past. And you can look at that. You can look back upon the last 12 months, the last three years, the last five years, last 10 years, and say, you know, have I been making progress? Am I getting further ahead? Have I learned valuable lessons and imp implemented changes? Or am I simply actually repeating the same? What I've found in observing people in my 37 years in business is that generally when it comes to money and wealth creation, there are three types of people. It doesn't matter how much money you give them, they'll always be in debt, they'll always spend more than they make. And then there's the next category who basically spend all that they make. If you're in those two categories, it's very hard to get ahead. Now, there can be the reality that you simply have a level of income where you, it's very difficult to make ends meet. It's not about those people, it's about your mindset and how you look at money. But the only way to really get ahead is you've got to get to a point where you are not spending everything that you make and you've got the ability to put your surplus to work, not to save money, save money is great, but save money, just putting money in the bank or in a savings account is not gonna change your, your life. You've gotta find ways to put money to work. Basically get to a situation where you're no longer working for money, money's working for you. When it comes to creating passive income, wealth and financial independence, and they're great outcomes. You know, Passive income is money that basically comes in whether you're working or sleeping or on vacation and Financial independence means different things to many people, but you've either got money, you've got cash, crypto, property, shares, stocks, you know, precious metals, gold, and so forth. And that's going to work for you and making you money. But that's not the majority of people. The majority of people basically have insufficient capital. And the only choice for them to get to that situation of having sufficient capital that where the money is working for them is to use their sweat equity, their time, their knowledge, their experience, their skills outside what they currently do. Financial independence is when you can live off your profits, not at your capital. Many people, when they become successful, and they make money, they immediately go and buy the better house and they buy the better home and, and all the extras and, and they've eaten away all their capital. The people who are truly financially free are able to preserve their capital and have their capital working for them to a level where they can live off the profits that have been generated by their capital. And that's what this whole purpose of this, what we're gonna be talking about today is to show you a way to ultimately get to that point. Because wealth is built when you can buy your luxuries out of your profits while your capital grows and that actually builds legacy wealth. Legacy wealth is the sort of wealth that's passed down through generation to generation. That takes time, knowledge, expertise, but also 
it's about finding a way to generate capital, to generate cash flow from anywhere in the world, any time of the day, in any economic environment with a phone, laptop, internet connection. That was a goal that I set myself. I set myself a goal in, and about 31 years ago, and I was about 26 years of age, to, to basically work from home. I wanted to have time with, 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 with my partner and my children and watch them grow up. And then when the internet came around to year 2000, I saw an opportunity to be able to make money online from anywhere. And I spent a lot of time learning how to do that. And now I've been lucky that I'm here in Thailand where I live, I've been here four years, but in the, over the last, over, the, over, over my lifetime, I lived in a dozen countries on four continents. I've traveled to more than 70 countries and I could leave here tomorrow and make money anywhere in the world as long as I had access to the internet. That's a true level of freedom. And it's not the, the, the building up all the assets and the accumulation of stuff, but having that flexibility to generate money regardless of the economic situation. So many people, their personal financial situation is dependent upon where they live in their city, in their state or in their country. But when you can get your income independent of where you are right now, that's a true level of freedom. So we're gonna show you how you can become a venture capitalist or at least have the mindset of a venture capitalist with as little as $100. Now, a venture capitalist, it's not about you know being at the big end of town. It's about the mindset. The venture capitalists look for future value in opportunities, ways to 10 times, 20 times, 50 times their money. They're looking for ways to get equity in businesses and they're looking for ways to have passive returns. And they're taking risks, yes, but what we've done with this opportunities that we're involved in is that the risk is greatly reduced because they're in existing real world projects. You probably heard of Netflix, Shopify, Uber, Airbnb, WhatsApp. You know, these are just a number of companies that become well known all around the world, but they started with an idea and venture capitalists helped to provide the initial capital to allow these businesses to become reality. And they made a lot of money, but they took the risk. They put money in at the early stage when it was just an idea that was being birthed and had a lot of potential upside. So what if you could actually receive equity, you know, a sense of ownership in real world businesses, rewards and profits from funding projects with a big upside as little as $100. Venture capitalists normally start with millions, tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sure if you had that, you probably wouldn't be on this call today, but everyone can find $100. And you can be actually part of a global community that enjoys the same benefits of a big venture capital firm. So rather than being a partnership of maybe half a dozen people who've got lots of money, we are a group of over 100,000 people who are coming together collectively and some people can maybe put $100 in and some people put $100,000 in. It doesn't matter. But basically, there's an opportunity for you because of the collective buying power of all those people, we can make a big difference. And these are real world projects, which means real opportunity. In other words, these are projects that are going to be a success outside the community. All we're doing is helping to provide the initial funding help them to achieve their goals, help to market these, these opportunities. And why do they want to partner with us is because they see an opportunity to, is as a, as a perfect marriage of partnering up with a group of 120,000 plus people who are incentivized to promote them and to fund them. The first venture capital raise is funding the world's biggest financial technology development project. And it's gonna change the way artificial intelligence is used in, in, the, in the trading arena. So what you get for being a crowd funder or, or, or a venture capitalist in opportunity is basically you get some equity in an IPO, an initial public offering. So it's gonna be becoming a public company. It's a FinTech company, financial technology company where well, you can not only get the equity, but you get some passive profits as the technology is being developed. And the earnings from that passive income, you can withdraw anytime, 
or you can actually compound it. Now, if you don't have a lot of capital, a lot of wealth, that then to, to, to build your wealth and to compound that wealth is really the secret. Compounding is simply, rather than spending your profit, actually applying your profit and putting your profit to work and then bigger profit to work and more profit to work. Or in another example, it could be where a business owner takes the profit from his first business and starts a second business and takes the profit from the profit from the second business and builds a third business. And over time, the effect is actually the way that initial business has grown to many businesses or like with this, your initial bit of capital has grown to a substantial amount of capital. And again, like I said at the start, if you don't have a lot of capital to put to work, then you can also actually be part of our community and share this with other people and bring them into the community and earn from that as well. And that's putting your sweat equity to work where you can build your capital base. Artificial intelligence, AI and FinTech, financial technology, create great opportunities because AI is used across all the financial industry. All the top institutions use it. And this venture capital raise is funding the development of a new super AI. So a lot of people ask, well, what's a super AI? Well, basically artificial uh, intelligence in the financial industry is looking at historical data. It looks at what's happened in the past. And that's great, but we live in a world that's full of new factors. We have social influencers like Elon Musk and others who can send out as far as a tweet on Twitter and affect the market in cryptocurrency, for example, you know, send a price of Bitcoin or, or other cryptocurrencies up by 20 or 30% or a tweet that can send it down 20, 30%. That didn't exist in, in, in the past. We've got a pandemic or I suppose a pandemic, but we'll, we'll have another discussion about that another time. But the point is that COVID has affected the entire planet over this last 18 months and the economies of countries and businesses and individuals. And you've got to take those things into account. The elections, like in the, in the US last year, had a big effect upon the market. So when you're making decisions about trading and other factors in the market, the artificial intelligence has to take into account all these other factors in the world. And so the point of developing this new super AI is to take into account all these additional circumstances that can impact the financial markets. And that seriously increases the accuracy of when to enter and when to exit the market and maximize profits. And I said, this is one of the world's largest financial technology development projects. We are a bunch of crowdfunders and crowdfunding is simply venture capital raising for the masses. I said, rather than having four or five people with $10 million each, we come together as 120,000 people contributing maybe $100 to $100,000, but the collective contribution of that has already brought in over $150 million just this year. So just this year, since this project, this project only, this crowdfunding group only officially began on March 30, and already $150 million plus has come in. But you can contribute a little as $100 to $102,000. You decide your level of contribution. But this is a, you know, the, the thing to keep in mind here is big institutional companies wanted to fund these projects. In fact, just in the last few weeks, one offered $700 million to fund one of our projects. And they were knocked back because this is not about bringing wealth to the big institutions. It's not about making the rich richer. This is about bringing wealth to everybody. And of course, if you did manage to build up to the $102,000, because you know, some people have got that sort of money, then you can get private access to the technology that's being developed as well for your own personal use. So what are the objectives of the crowdfund? What are we trying to achieve? Well, basically, the first goal is to raise $10 million for the development and the testing of the super AI. So it can get smarter and smarter and make more accurate decisions but it needs funds to put to work, to learn. So basically we're raising an additional $500 million for a trading fund where that artificial intelligence can develop itself and test its results. And as it's generating results in the financial markets, those profits that the AI is generating are rewarded back to us 
the venture capital community. So we get passive earnings as the AI is getting smarter and smarter. And again, we're not, this is not a new idea for the week. The company behind this has already been developing projects for quite some time. And we're going to be moving soon into Forex, into stocks and commodities. So we're going to be diversifying across a number of asset classes as well. The company behind the fintech project is Endotech. And they're a, a company with over 60 AI scientists, quants, analysts, developers, and researchers. And they've been a world leader in creating artificial intelligence, financial technology for institutional investment firms. So they're used to working in a, in, in, with numbers of you know, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars. And they're taking this technology to a whole new level. They released a 50 page document called a white paper recently that went out to universities, the top AI minds in the world, the top trading minds to get additional outside input. Even though they're a world leader in what they do, they understand that sometimes you can get tunnel vision. So it's great to get outside perspective and invite other great minds to give their insight as well. Because this is all about making their dream of creating this super AI a reality and also to become a public company in 2022 where they will bring this super AI to the remaining financial world. Dr. Anna Becker is the brain trust behind this and the CEO of Endotech. She holds a PhD in AI and she's been developing financial technology now for 20 plus years. So she's just something she understands very, very well. And when you hear her speak, you can immediately see that she is an, an, a, a very well-recognized author, a speaker, a consultant, and has been a world leader in AI financial technology. She's already sold one fintech company back in 2011 that developed Forex technology. That technology is still used today around the world. And her current technologies are used by leading banks and investment funds globally. Their roadmap was basically when she sold her original fintech company in 2011, she registered Endotech in 2012 but she wasn't able to compete in the space for a number of years. So she basically did some private work for big institutions for a number of years until 2018 when they released the commercial use of their technology for cryptocurrency trade. And she had this dream of the super AI and while big institutions were happy to give her the money, she decided to partner with this crowdfunding group and use that as the model to bring this super AI to the marketplace. With this ultimate goal, as I said, in 2022, to complete the AI project, to become a public company, and then move to the next stage, which is Forex trading, to add another billion dollars to that fund, because Forex is a much bigger market, you know, multi-trillion dollar per day market. And then we're gonna move in 2023 into additional asset classes like stocks and commodities. All this is great, but how do you assure that the outcomes are delivered? I said, I've, I've been in business for a long time and we get asked to, to help companies when, they, when they're in the early stages of development. And they ask us, you know, what, what are the most likely causes of companies going wrong? And what we constantly have observed from our own involvement in decades in business is that it is human beings. It's human beings at the decision level of boards, management team and owners making bad decisions. Power, greed, ego, dysfunction, inexperience, all those factors typically screw up companies. So how do you remove the downfall of human traits and personalities and ensure outcomes are delivered. Well, one of the ways that's been done in the cryptocurrency space and the blockchain space is the use of what they call smart contracts. It's a new technology. Where everything that is meant to happen is documented, put into the software and to ensure that all the outcomes are delivered. And it's operating in a decentralized environment free from human intervention, where the, the, what was documented can't be changed. It's like this, when you go to a lawyer and you do an agreement, it doesn't mean that what you signed off on is the reality, because we all know that 
the law is about interpretation. Agreements are about interpretation. So a, a very smart lawyers and a, and a judge in a court can radically change what you agreed to. With a smart contract, that can't happen. What's documented, as long as everyone does what they're meant to do, it's delivered. So everything that's happening in this project is governed by smart contracts, free of human intervention. And that provides also full transparency. So we can see every transaction when somebody contributes to the crowd fund on the blockchain, instantaneously, all the allocation of funds is made like that. So everyone that's meant to get their money gets their money. The allocation to the trading fund is immediately there. So all your referral incomes, for example, if you choose to refer this, are immediately paid. You don't have to wait for somebody to push a button. You don't have to worry if someone's going to run off with the money. That can't happen. To when they were looking at the smart contract, which was the best blockchain? Well, the Tron blockchain was the best one. It's the fastest and most scalable blockchain. And it's the top emerging decentralized app platform. USDT is the method of payment. It's a a stable coin, a cryptocurrency, where it doesn't have the fluctuation of, say, Bitcoin or Ethereum or other, other currencies out there. And it's got very low transaction fees for moving funds. So when you enter the crowd fund, you basically start with, for example, $100. And everyone starts with $100. And then you can add tiers you can't skip them so you add 200 then 400 then 800 and you can go all the way to the 51,200 which is a total of 102,300 in contribution to the crowd fund in return on the far right you get some equity shares so five percent of the public offering in 2022 at Endotech is put aside and that's shared amongst all the crowd funders and You'll see in the middle column that a percentage of each contribution is put into the trading fund for the AI to go to work and generate passive rewards. 50% of the first seven tiers and 70% of the top three tiers. So your rewards as a passive contributor are basically equity and passive rewards. That's what we're saying here. 50 to 70% of your contribution goes to the trading fund to earn passive trading rewards. And what sort of results has Intertech generated in the past? Well, around 200% with compounding is the average annual outcome they've achieved. The goal of the super AI is to four times that. Now, 200% is still a staggering result, but four times that is an amazing result. And you also get the equity shares. So if you didn't talk to a single soul, you just want to put your own money to work, you get the passive rewards and the equity. But if you did decide to refer this, and all you're doing is you know, offering people a great opportunity to put their own money to work, you can create supplementary income. It could be an extra income I'm on the side, or it could become a complete life-changing income. If you get serious about sharing this, there's an opportunity to earn a share of every crowdfunding contribution that comes into this project and a share of every dollar of trading reward that's generated. That's, that's passive walk away money. And there's also some additional equity, another 5% that will be shared amongst the top performers. And as I said, if you don't have a lot of capital to start with, you can come in with $100, share with a few friends and a few other people, and you can build a referral income that can provide the money for you to upgrade into the higher tiers and ultimately have a level of capital going to work for you that can really start to create a level of freedom. Our second capital raise is funding a platform that will bring to market projects that decentralize the financial industry. Having been a, a businessman for the last 37 years, you know, one of the biggest pains in my butt in that time was having to deal with banks and financial institutions. They make your life so difficult, so many rules and regulations and criteria to meet decentralizing the financial industry, DeFi, is the fastest growing and most lucrative sector of the cryptocurrency market. It is a, a trend that has been long overdue and it's basically removing the middlemen like the banks to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer lending and borrowing. So basically you've got somebody with an asset who wants to actually loan out against that asset to somebody who wants to borrow. 
It's governed by a smart contract to ensure outcomes are delivered, but you remove the, um, all the banksters in the middle and all the actual bureaucracy and the fees. I mean, you know, you personally, or you probably know of people personally that have applied for a credit card, a personal loan, a business loan, a house loan, a loan of any sort. And you've had to disclose lots of information. You've had to answer questions. You should never really have to ever answer to anybody and still miss out on, until you get knocked back because there was one criteria in the list you didn't meet or something you did in the past that, you know, wasn't even your fault has now put a red mark on your credit rating and it's affected your future borrowing. Well, DeFi gets rid of that. And we're launching a launch pad to bring these decentralized projects to market. Look at it like NASA. NASA is really good at putting rockets into space, you know, and they can actually launch um, satellites, um, these probes that go out to Jupiter and beyond, uh, send with our supplies to the space station. Doesn't matter. NASA is good at building rockets and launching. We're like that. We're funding a launch pad where big real world projects come along and use our launch pad. And why use us is because we have a community of 120,000 plus people that can provide funding and help to promote them. Because a lot of these projects are developed by technical people, not marketing people. And they need a, a group of people, a community to help them make these projects a, a real success story. And in return, you get to have equity in each of these projects that gets launched. You get passive profit rewards and you get access to buying these DeFi tokens at heavily discounted prices. So you get first access to lower prices before these projects go into the real world. So as a passive participant, for example, in our launch pad DeFi token, we're gonna to have a pre-sale of our own token at 10 cents that'll start on July 1. You need to be part of our community by June 30 to benefit from the pre-sale. So if you're not part of our community, you have to wait for the public pre-sale that'll happen after our community where the pre-sale for the public will be $1 to $5. But if you're part of our community, you can get four rounds of 10 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents and a dollar. So substantially discounted. And then moving to a public listing price on the, the exchanges of $5. And then the market will then determine the price like any other token in the real world. But again, this is a real world token that will survive outside the community. And these projects are real world projects that were already developed outside our community. We are not creating these projects. We are providing the funding and being rewarded in return for helping the funding. So you can purchase pre-release tokens in the second DeFi project up to the same value you can shoot it to project one. So if you put $100 into the crowdfund, which goes towards the Endotech Super AI project, you can get $100 worth of tokens. $100 of tokens at 10 cents each is a thousand tokens. At a $5 listing price, that's $5,000 value. Similar tokens have gone to around $50. Do the maths, 1,000 tokens at $5, 1,000 tokens at $50. What if they got to 100 in a year? And what did you outlay? $100 for the first project and $100 worth of DeFi tokens. Now, staking your tokens is very rewarding. Now, staking is simply a way the project rewards token holders who choose not to sell their tokens and hold for future gains. So when you stake, you're locking your coin, you're not selling it on the marketplace. But for doing that, for being patient and waiting for the future upside, you get free tokens from every project that uses our launch pad to go to market because that's part of their fee. They've got to give a percentage of their total number of tokens to our community who are staking. If you're not staking, then you don't get those rewards. But also, as I said, you get first access to heavily discounted pre-sales from each of these projects that are launching. Staking is basically designed to avoid people dumping the coin on the market and plummeting the price. And that's what we want. We don't want 
a token that's going to you know go to, to the real world market and then be dumped and it's worth nothing so they've carefully designed this to guard against human nature you know human nature is short term and greed focused so they've designed this model to guard against that and to give the maximum opportunity for long-term wealth creation. So I want you to think about that. Imagine owning equity in real world projects that can be a major success story, earning passive profit rewards and having priority access to lucrative opportunities, building cash flow and wealth building in a community of fellow venture capitalists. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to sh share some additional information with you in a minute. But if you're new to this venture, I'd strongly encourage you. This is a time sensitive opportunity. You need to be part of our community by June 30 to take advantage of this DeFi opportunity. And whatever you come in with into the crowd fund between now and June 30 will dictate how many of those heavily discounted tokens you're going to get access to. So let's stop sharing for a sec and share with you a spreadsheet that will show you the maths. Let me just bring that spreadsheet up and screen two. So I'm just looking, here we are. Okay. So you should see on your screen now. I'll make it a bit larger so it's a bit easier to see. Okay. So let's say that you came in with tier one, you bought a hundred dollar token pack at 10 cents as a thousand tokens at $5, that's a $5,000 potential upside. But let's say it went to $25 as a $25,000 upside. But let's say that you were patient and we all worked collectively together to build this token up to a hundred dollar value. That's a hundred thousand dollar upside for a two hundred thousand dollar outlet, a two hundred dollar outlay. But let's say that you got a bit more ambitious and you maybe went to tier four where you put fifteen hundred in. Okay, so you bought the two hundred dollar token. Sorry, let's go up here. And you got the $400 token pack and you got the 800. So all together, you put 3,000, you put 1,500 into the crowd fund, $1,500 into tokens. And let's say that that potentially, so you put 3,000 each and let's say that the token went to $100. Pretty scary numbers, scary good. <laughs> but let's say, even if it just maintained $5, would $3,000 to a $75,000, and if it took a year to do that, even if it took two years, would that be a good upside? But like I said, many of these tokens have gone to $50 in the first year. So you can do the maths on that. It's worth it. Now, we've got a promo where they have put aside 20 million tokens into an incentive pool. And if you share this with four other people, so let's say that you had um, basically one person who came in with a hundred and three people came in with tier one and tier two, a total of 300. That's a thousand total contributions to the crowd fund. That's four people. When you've got four people who contribute a hundred dollars, you get one share of this bonus pool. 20 million tokens. We've got 122,000 people involved right now, but we got a figure just the other, just the night before, where there was about 4,000 people that 4,000 shares have been earned so far. So that's about 5,000, sorry, 5,000 shares. That's 4,000 tokens that you can get for simply sharing this with four people who contribute a collectively between all four, $1,000. What's 4,000 tokens worth? Well, do the maths. 4,000 tokens at $100 each is 400,000. 
4,000 tokens, at even $5, each is 20,000. The upside is big. So that should give you a sense of whether you get some tokens for yourself or you also share with a few people, but you need to do this. This incentive is only available until June 30, nine days, eight days from today. So it is time sensitive. So I highly encourage you to take full advantage of that. Let's look at DeFi tokens and how they're performing in the marketplace. Share a screen. If you go to Coin Market Cap, the biggest website in the world when it comes to cryptocurrency, and click on the DeFi section, you'll see that Uniswap is the number one DeFi token, currently at eighteen dollars. When the crypto market right now is in a bit of a downturn, that's okay. You know, Bitcoin's been declared dead four hundred times. It's it's not going away. But let's look at the charts and have a look at what a similar cryptocurrency has done that will be like our launch pad. Just waiting for the chart to load. It's currently at $17.92. So when it started last October, it began at 48 cents. Did nothing to around January, got to a few dollars, and then it got to a high of about $43, $44. Now, even at its current price of 18 from 48 cents, that's almost a 40x, 40 times. In what? October, six months, you know, eight months. So that's what I'm saying to you, you know, we're in a, we're in a bit of a downward trend at the moment, but we all know where crypto is going to go over this next 12 months. So that's just one example of what can happen with these sort of DeFi tokens. Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, and just a number of others. The, the Binance Launchpad program are another. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope it's giving you some confidence. It's time sensitive, don't muck around, take advantage, get back to the person who referred you if you're already a participant in this. Do everything you possibly can to upgrade as high as you possibly can in a number of tiers. So you've got the maximum capacity to get as many of the discounted DeFi tokens. And think about sharing this. You've got an opportunity to help other people. The mass makes sense. Even at $100 for crowdfunding, $100 for the tokens with a $5,000 upside, you do that maths again and again and again. And how many people's lives could you potentially change? Think about it. Do you know four people who, who would love the thought of a $5,000 to a $50,000 upside in the next 12 months? What could that do to help their financial situation, particularly in these COVID times? So on that note, I'm going to finish up. We do these presentations three times a week. So you're welcome to come back to another presentation or invite your guests to the presentation as well. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, and look forward to sharing with you again very soon. Take care. God bless.